A.K.A. Homegrown. Welcome, welcome, welcome one and all to A.K.A. Homegrown. We're smoking the blues in the loo. Yeah, that's right. Recording live at Don Clue Studio in beautiful Overland, Missouri. It's the AKA Homegrown Homies. As you're looking at your radio from left to right, it is the one, the only, Mr. Richard Darlin on the Dobro. Guess he's got them fingers warmed up good this week. Thanks for the wonderful introduction there, Philip. My pleasure. And looking left to right on the studio wall, it's Doc Blues, the one, the only, Mr. John Walrab slapping that bass. Well, good afternoon to you folks. Yeah, he sounds remarkably like Wolfman Jack. Me, I'm some guy named Phil, and I play the musical nose. That's right. I can pick it, I can blow it, and we can have a good time. Let's listen to this album, Low Bro, as we get another adventure of A.K.A. Homegrown started. I think we're going to do Fathers and Sons today if we're not uh, doing it the wrong way. So uh, we'll be giving that a listen. Sit back, relax, get your stuff together. We out of here. Let's do this. Friday, everybody. It is a happy, happy homegrown Friday. And a happy Friday to you. <laughs> oh, he is just on top of it all today. I think Doc's been hitting us with, uh, all morning long, he's been hitting us with these little one-liners and just zinging us. If we was fighters, he'd swear we was... I'd swear anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay. I swear... By the moon and the stars in the sky. I just lost our country audience. <sighs> <laughs> now we're banned in the U.S. Yes, yeah. So it begins. South of the Mason-Dixon, anyway. Okay, folks, on the Canary Islands. <laughs> <laughs> we still got you. Soul audience now. Yeah, well, you, you get a ham radio, you know. It might violate FCC rules, but. <laughs> well, okay. At least we're we're more like there. a bacon radio. A bacon radio? Everybody likes bacon. <laughs> there you go. I thought you were going to talk about being fried. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Better or fried baked. Either well, way, uh, baked or fried, it's still the same. It's bacon. What was that? Uh, what was that song we were uh, we were watching the video for earlier over there? Oh, you mean with the little big George? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I think we need to hear. Now, does he live in the area too? Yeah, he does. I had the pleasure of uh, sitting in with him in the Soulard band here when I first came to town down at the uh, Oyster Bar. But this one, it looks like it might have been done at uh, at the patio there at the Beal. I don't know. And it's a uh, Big George Brock's boy. Big George Jr. doing a uh, Holland Wolf tune here. If you hear me calling. Uh, if you hear me howling. Howling, Soulard, that's it. Soulard Blues Band. Yeah. And uh, Big George Brock Jr. You ready for that? Yes, sir. Here it comes. Come on, on. I said, if you hear me howling, calling on my darling. I said, you hide like red pepper. Since it's sweet. 
She made my life go out. Every time she kissed me, she made me jump. A.K.A. Homegrown, we're smoking the blues right here in the loo. And that's Big George Brock Jr. What do you think, Mr. Richie Darling? Man, that sounded so cool. It just, that's blues. Yeah, that's good, straightforward, driving, just feel good. What was the name of the song? If You Hear Me Howling. That's good. Man, you sound like the wolf, too, don't we? Yeah. We yeah. got two cats in town that sound a lot like the wolf. Marquise does, too. Well, one of my favorites, man, Howlin' Wolf. Yep. He didn't even get started until he was uh, he was uh, way older in life. Didn't you say he was in his... Was he in his 60s? Oh, man, I don't even know. So you were talking no, I think some... he didn't start playing out very much right. until it was like his 40s. That's when he said, well, maybe driving a truck isn't my thing. <laughs> 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 I know I would have liked to have said that when I was in my 40s, but... And in the uh, in the book Deep Blues that I read by Robert Palmer, he said that uh, Hal and Wolf learned on Dockery's plantation from Charlie Patton himself. I think he was related to him, wasn't he? Somehow, that's probably that's true. A possibility. Yeah. I don't. Exactly We're all remember. cousins, folks. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right, cuz somewhere along the line we are, cuz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you is too, cousin. Cousin Joe, you right there with the rest of them. He's the branch manager of your family tree, isn't he? Yes, he is. Ah. Branch manager, sure enough. <laughs> you got to see who's at the roots of the organization, though. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You got something good for us to hear? Well, keeping in the family tradition, I got one of Muddy's sons here, Big Bill. Well, uh, let's listen to one Big Bill Morganfield. <laughs>
A.K.A. Homegrown. is that oh man that's the other brother it's that long slow fade out i like yeah bud morgan feel yeah with kim wilson playing harp from the fabulous thunderbirds that sounded like a winner to me indeed you know it's uh you know it's rapidly approaching time i love it when you say that the first (laughs) time during the day my internal clock was starting to tell me things are not as wavy as they were before Yes, indeed. You know, it's funny that you use the word wavy. I, I was just hanging out with a guy. Uh, well, I, I met a guy named Wavy, and he's in a band called Cornmeal, and they were playing up at the bootleg. And this is uh, it's bluegrass, but it's non-traditional bluegrass, right? Nice. 
and because uh, they have drums. And the the guy Wavy, he's one of the founding members. Um, so he was uh, playing some. What was it? He was playing some banjo. Yeah, he had this really cool banjo. Anyway, you said the word wavy. Just made me think about it. A little tangent on life there. Like wavy gravy. Yeah. Wait, is he wavy gravy? Man, that's wavy what I gravy haven't heard from in a while. the uh, the Woodstock <clears throat> stock movie. He's still around, and he's got this food bank that he started way back in the Woodstock days. Neat. Helping out the poor folks. At Woodstock. Yeah, yeah, he fed the masses there, you know. Wow. They weren't expecting that many people. And, uh, Are they going to write a book about him? I'll probably already I have, have, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, these are quite went, a few. They went to Southern people, you know. Google that, <laughs> oh. All the Southern Baptists are now uh, turning us off. <laughs> oh, they, I don't <laughs> think they, they never, us on They ever. never showed up. <laughs> they never showed up no, the first they, place. They got warned we were... Too much right like after dancing. that first episode, I think they sent out a newsletter and mentioned something. In okay. church. So uh, we have this tradition from the from the radio days of yore, back when we were super famous celebrities on the radio. We were a listers <laughs> back then. Uh, yeah, giving Catch an us insightful. Till the sun goes down, <laughs> folks. That's the AM listing. <laughs> you know, get with insightful uh, commentary and uh, and stellar music, of course. And a live special guest, but uh, back then we had to take a commercial break at 4:20. Uh, but it, you know, it's the 4:20 break, and yeah, play the hey. commercials, walk outside by the Taco <laughs> Bell, and <laughs> make sure no nothing's happened to your automobile while you were inside. That's Maybe right. Maybe so uh, take a smoke. So we're keeping up the tradition. It's yeah. uh, it's 420, and it's time to take that uh, mandatory 4:20 break. It's the mandatory 4:20 break. And we're ready for it. Are we ready this time around? Yeah. This no. 420 break being brought to you <laughs> by none other than Mom's Cookies. You know Mom's Cookies? I certainly do. She ain't got no slogan, but man, her cookies are definitely baked. Yes. And they are <laughs> wonderfully good. baked. They go wonderful with a cup of Doc Blue's coffee, and you just can't beat it. Doc, are we going to have ourselves a, a 420 kind of song today? Yeah, I got that one by Hank the Third here, Marijuana <laughs> Blues. Nice. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I know he's talking about marijuana, but the boy was on acid when he wrote that one. <laughs> Maybe when he recorded it. 
I think he's got more money than us, so he can just get better shit. Yeah, okay. That that I yeah, yep. I ain't never had no stuff like that before. <laughs> I've had some funny stuff, but it ain't been like that before. Let me tell you. Yeah. You know, as yeah. far as being experimental, Hank the Third is, uh, in my opinion, he focused so much just on the instrumentation and takes it sort of to a new level than his uh, dad or his granddad. Really, you know, I mean. They've got, they've all got their styles, but Hank the Third definitely is blending genres that, I mean, he's breaking new ground, no doubt about it. He's a man of his age, you know. Sure. For a minute there, I thought we were at CBGB's or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he does uh, some oh, metal cool. stuff. He does a lot more of that heavy stuff with a band called Ass Jack, and it's got uh, Phil Ansamo from Pantera. <laughs> yeah, or that's maybe, just maybe trying Rex. to face off. I think he's he was playing with Rex too from Pantera. Anyway, very cool stuff. Yeah, that was a little. I don't know if that was that was a little crazy. It was crazy, but you guys admit it was fun. Oh man, absolutely. And that was. Well, I don't know. Was that harsh? Would that harsh your buzz? Didn't harsh my buzz, man. Got me jacked for a minute, and then settled me right back down. I feel a bit twisted. <laughs> Speaking of twisting, we yeah. hope you enjoyed your four twenty break. Indeed, yeah, that was a good. Boy, hey, Doc, is, yeah, you go right on ahead there, Doc. <laughs> I just Googled it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just Google us something else up real quick? Well. Well. Oh, I'll tell you what, there. Well, what? you know, we were talking about uh, hearing Ethan blowing up the airwaves yes. all over the place, man. Everybody's talking about Ethan Linewand, and we got a an exclusive, an exclusive footage from the old radio from days. the radio days yeah. yeah that was you know what I, I must admit that was one of my favorite sessions that day that was a lot of fun he he uh he wanted me to play all all uh you know my, all of the music that i cover and then he plays along with me and i was like man you should play one and i want to play along with you and he's like no no no, i want you to sing and play and man it just worked out great it was awesome it was fun that day was very very much fun well, he certainly has proved that he can just walk into any situation and and do the gig, man. He's working with everybody. Yeah, as long as you don't play a song in F sharp. He says that's <laughs> impossible on piano. <laughs> oh, I bet he could do it. Well, the sound He didn't want to. Can't he you didn't put a capo to. on it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's you an electronic pen- keyboard. If you don't have a capo, you can get a pencil and a bunch of rubber bands that work just as well. You know, I did that trick for the very first time. I've been playing guitar for a long time, and I did that trick for the first time the other day. I Googled uh, how to make a homemade capo because I know I've heard people talk about it, and I saw some pictures of it and did it. <laughs> Any mafia bosses come up in that Google? No. I mean, maybe. Not that kind of capo, I guess. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> how to make a capo. Well, first you have to be a made man, don't you, Phil? <laughs> hey, Doc, the deal? play the music. <laughs> let's, let's get to some music here. Okay, here's one for me and, and us. You got it.
Yes, on Saturday I go out to play Vaults of uh, our uh, radio days there. Yeah. That was fun. Oh, man. Ethan nailed it, of course, as and always. He walked. The thing was, he walked in the studio. Everybody said, hi, we're blah, blah, and blah, blah, and blah, blah. Everybody sits down and is like, they've been there forever. Oh, he's a real comfortable cat, yeah. Yeah. It was like, you know, there was no angst or anxieties involved. It was just sit in, have a good time, and. There was some good music coming out of that studio that day. He gave us a stellar interview, too. I remember we were talking about uh, New York and, uh, you know. Ball. Nope. Nobody plays the blues in New York. Uh, I was uh, like, wow. A couple. He said there's a couple, but not, not there's much. There's a lot yeah. of folks with him up there, though. Yeah. No, they. he said he couldn't find a gig up there. That's difficult to believe. I, especially the way this man plays. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, blowing yeah. up St. Yeah. Louis. We like to call him our uh, prodigal son. <laughs> or what? Product, what do you want to call him? Our adopted son. adopted yeah, son. There yeah. we go. He's certainly got into the city and the, and what's cooking here. That's oh, sure. definitely, Ethan. If you're listening, my friend, please. You know you're you're invited to come on down and catch the homegrown show live. Absolutely. Or if you get a chance, you can see Ethan over the the gramophone for the next few Fridays, and he's usually where on Cherokee there at Yaki's during. The, yep. But Saturday nights? I'm not sure exactly what night he plays there, but I know he's down there a lot. Probably whenever he's not doing something big time. Right. He's doing a lot of that. That's another neighborhood that's that starting to uh, really blow up now is the Cherokee Street. That's cool. Yeah. Well, well, he, well, this town needs something like that, man. Them people have been trying down there for 
years to get it off the ground. Well, Cherokees was one of it was the de- destination shopping areas during the uh, 40s and 50s. Oh, every bus 60s in the city and is 70s for me. I I bought all my goofy band outfits there. Right. Yeah. Like, every, uh, cl- all the clowns are us. All the cars, <laughs> the trolleys, and everything used to run down Cherokee Street because it was oh, yeah. the main shopping. And then you had the Casa Loma Ballroom, which is seen. Uh, Elvis Presley. Um, they're still doing stuff in the Casa Loma. Yeah, they're re- revitalizing. Oh, yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ju- Miss Jubilee plays down there all the time with She's Dan and the whole gang. For that place, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and they invite all the swing dancers out, and they all uh, do Lindy hops and you know whatever other kind of dances they do. It's all the jitterbugs <laughs> and Lindy hops, and I don't know the Charleston and a bunch of stuff, right? <laughs> is, that, is, that, you, is that what it you is? Have the, you is that have what the, the youngsters same motto are doing? As I do. I I can't dance, so I play in the band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do dance a lot, but I dance. I do hippie dance. I do the this is the dance of my tribe kind of just you know yeah, flailing yeah, around. Yeah, if I have to, that's what I blame her on too. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can't help it if the music's good. Hey, Doc, you got anything else from that uh, from that era? From the radio era days? The radio or? era days. I don't know. Maybe I'd, I'd like to dig up some of those commercials we did on the fly for the lawyers. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, every time we do one, I think, well, we won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> do you have a kid that don't look like you? Yeah. <laughs> Call the MLM Law Group. Dial Hilarious. 599 Maury. Yeah. <laughs> You said you had uh, that John Lee Hooker Jr. Is that is that I got one by you? Junior here, yeah. Let's yeah. Hear it. We'll He's, spin that uh, sucker. Over the past few years, became a minister since this came out. Uh, this one's called Payday. Everybody likes Payday. Ooh, I love Payday. Payday. You like the candy bar? I have trouble yep. with the nuts. <laughs> Become a law professor. He had a deadbeat daddy. It was just him and his mother. One day he had a talk with himself. Said, "Here's what I'll do. I'll save all of my money and let Mama hold it. Go to law school." Oh, oh those days must have ran. It got here kind of fast He was so excited You would hear him say Oh, at last You know they should have done to her What they did to Saddam Hussein She spent all of his college funds On crack cocaine Crack cocaine Crack cocaine Oh, mothers and fathers Careful how you treat your child Payday's not always on Friday Wow. Little girl said when she get big, she wanted to be a teacher. She had a speech impediment. No one will believe her to add codes to the burning fire of a life. She went home and she cried almost every night. She said, oh, mama, oh, mama, why you do this to me? Why is it when I go to sleep, you got to leave? I'm never gonna leave my kids alone, now. You better believe it. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Hear my plea. Hear my mommy was spanking and then she on Oh, mothers and fathers. Careful how you treat your child. Big days not always on Friday.
days will be over You'll slow way down Because you've gotten much older Your child is grown And she didn't fulfill her dream You told her she wouldn't amount to nothing And she believed that That day will come And you're gonna be doing real bad That same child that you mistreated will tell you to kiss my ass Oh mothers and fathers Careful how you treat your child Big is not always on Friday It's coming out a while That was soulful right there. Oh, yes, it was. Payday's not always on Friday. <laughs> hey, y'all. Y'all hungry? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it is the 440 mandatory oh. munchie break. That's right. If you joined us for the 420 break, you know what you got coming up right now? Munchie you, break. You got a munchie break coming up. That's right. And we got something extra special for the munchie break today. Biscuits and gravy? Oh, no, just biscuits. Just buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk. <laughs> the song cracks me up. Now I'm your big long dropper, mud duck stopper, Fila on the bottom and Adidas on the cover. Transform scratching, big beat matching. I can tell you didn't tell it by the looks I'm catching. I hate dumb skeezers, MC beater. Drop five grand on my bird wide meter. Smooth like ice, don't get nice. Just turn up the box for the mix till I slice the you. Biscuits free to
You are listening to AKA Homegrown, the soothing sounds of St. Louis and the blues. tell you about my man he always treats me good he takes care of business like I do that he would I'm in the mood baby. I'm in the mood for some good love tonight I'm in the mood I'm in the mood for some We got some homegrown there uh, on the playlist today, don't we? Yes, but by the way, that was Zakaya Hooker. 
John Lee's older daughter there. Somebody's Not nice. too much older, Zakaya. She's one of my Facebook friends. I got to be nice to her. Her nice. birthday is the day after mine. We are Aries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She did a little bit of John Lee's in the mood there, but man, she changed it up, huh? Yeah, it was way different tone, <laughs> uh, but still just, you know, equally as, oh, as yeah. good. That's yeah. really cool stuff. Equally as sophisticated. I've got a couple of her. Uh, CDs in on the big drive there. I'm going to have to give them a spin here later. Gee, no, I'll behave, Doc. <laughs> I've gotten you in more trouble than I'm I can gonna get give out her of already. Spin. I'm going to give that hooker a spin. <laughs> I'm glad you said oh, that, not me. Uh, oh, Lord. I Back it up, or I'm gonna have to sleep in the car. Oh, I sold the truck. Back it up. It's too cold to sleep outside. Who you got for us, Doc? Not no mom's cookies if I don't watch myself. No um, mama's cookies, baked or otherwise. Oh well, here's the son of the the, the late great Robert Johnson. And he's doing uh, he's doing a song with. Uh, with uh, Henry Robert. Townsend, yeah, one of the uh, yeah. homegrown Fine fellas. Fine Top Perkins is on this one. This is uh, Robert Lockwood Jr. doing, while we're on the biscuit theme here, biscuits and family, man, I feel like having breakfast with all my kinfolk. Mm-hmm. Except we'd have to notify the police before we all got together. And how? <laughs> you guys. Pass the biscuit. It's King Biscuit time. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Tudor Lockwood, the King Biscuit Entertainer, right here. Good evening, everybody. Tell me, how do you do? Good evening, everybody. Tell me, how do you do? King Mr. the boys, and we came to welcome you. In the morning for my breakfast, I eat all the way from nine to ten. In the morning for my breakfast, I eat all the way from nine to ten. Look across the table, I'm reaching over in the pain again. Smoking the blues in the loo. Yeah, yo. I think we're going to do a little bit of homegrown roll your own right now. Isn't that right, Richie? Yes, indeed.
tell you how it is. This guy playing on the dobro, his name is Richie Darling. You can catch him most nights out playing music somewhere. He might just be playing with himself, and then he might be playing with the band. Old Doc Walrup over there, he's gonna thump on that bass a little bit. Yeah, you hear that bass coming through. Yep. That's the Doc Blues himself, Mr. John Walrup. Bringing us all kinds of peace as he walks through the valley of the shadow of blues. He fears no evil, and there's no triplet he can't pull off. Me, I'm some guy named Phil. I just do the voices around here. Well, sometimes the voices do me. We're just all having a good time. And we'll catch you next week as we record live from Dr. Blue Studios in beautiful Overland, Missouri. And we bring you the happy homegrown, happy, happy homies. That's right. It's the happy homegrown homies. And you can be a part of the goodness. Just drop us a line, we'll tell you how. We're gonna let Richie Darling get rid of us until the end of the year. Or the end of the show, anyway. We'll talk to you later.